This Shropshire dairy herd is one of 20, mainly in the Midlands, to be genetically tested. So the cows using the farm's milking robot only produce a certain kind of milk. Sunil, you had all your cattle genetically tested. That's right, David. Back in the summer, we took a, a DNA sample from each of the cows, a, a small tissue sample from each of the, the cows' ears, sent that off for analysis, and we've just selected the A2 cows. All the other cows have been sold, uh, and they form the nucleus of our A2 herd. And an A2 herd produces A2 milk. You might have seen the advert. A2 is great tasting regular milk, but it has the A2 milk protein, and that makes it different. A2 is an Australian idea and over there it is big business. It's not for people who are lactose intolerant, but the company behind it say customers who usually avoid milk because of dairy discomfort find they can drink it. The vision is that we can replicate some of the success that we've seen in Australia. Now that's going to take time, but uh, there, is, there is a belief that through the support we've seen from, from our farmers, through the growing support we're seeing amongst retailers, we're going to, uh, we're going to see ourselves in the next 18 months really uh, establishing A2 as a, as, as a big player in milk. Now this is a joint venture between the A2 company from Australia and Muller Wiseman's here in the Midlands. And it's not the only investment that Muller Wiseman's is making in the dairy industry this year. They're also building a new butter factory here in Shropshire. A2 milk commands a two and a half pence a litre premium for farmers. Ironically, a milk for people who feel they can't drink milk might offer one way forward for our beleaguered dairy industry.